Hi everyone, Jeff Johnson, creator of Fingers Gestures for Unity. I've gotten some feedback on the image training and creation. People have been saying it's still a little bit too complicated, and I happen to agree, so I've simplified the image training even further. I think what I've got will allow you to very quickly draw your shapes and variants of shapes, get them uh, copied into the list of possible shapes, and allow you to very rapidly uh, create all of your possible shapes. So let me show you how this works. First thing to do is download the asset from the asset store and then go to fingers prefab scenes. There's a built-in fingers image automation scene which you can see right here. You'll want to just go ahead and click play to get this scene started and new in this scene are new instructions and there's also this key name, the enter image name and this is going to be kind of a short key for your image and this is important to enter because it will be used to look up in a dictionary later and display the, the match shape name so make sure to enter a shape name here otherwise things will not work the way you expect so I'm gonna do a triangle a triangle is a new shape that I don't have in the demo yet and I want to draw a bunch of triangles until uh, I get a match every time basically so essentially what this means is you'll keep drawing triangles uh, the first few times that you draw a triangle you will get a non-match here because there's no triangles in memory but as you draw and draw more triangles it'll be able to match the existing triangles that you've already drawn or any other shape for that matter so let me show you how this works so I'm gonna draw my first triangle it doesn't have to be perfect when, it, when you're ready to submit the shape you just hit the space bar and of course there's no match because nothing's in memory yet and because of that it puts the triangle script down here in this text box and you'll see what to do with this in a minute so I'm gonna go ahead and draw another triangle and hit space bar I still didn't get a match and that's okay that's kind of expected we're just trying to draw all the variants of triangles that we can so I'm going to draw a third triangle. Still no match. That's okay. I'm going to draw another triangle. Now we've got our first match, which is great. So now you need to think to yourself, what kinds of other triangles could people draw? And maybe a variant would be a taller triangle. That still counts as a triangle. But it, amazingly, that still matched. So let's draw another triangle. And as you get more and more used to this, you can start quickly drawing your shapes basically you want to draw shapes until you don't get them uh, until you get matches every time basically so you can be highly confident that a player who's playing your game will get matches when they draw the correct shape and so you've kind of got to sort of use your imagination on how players might draw triangles maybe they draw really thin triangles uh, it depends how thin you want the triangle to be up to you how a variety of shapes can be but you notice here that I'm mostly getting a match every time now pretty much every triangle is matching an existing shape which is exactly what you want so once you've got it to the point where you're like okay I'm getting a match every time this is working great you'll use this uh, script box down here and you can just select that and control or command C uh, to copy that script and I will show you where to paste this script in. Now you see this little X down here this X is a simply a way to remove the last shape that you drew so if you hit space and you submitted a shape on accident you can click that X and it will basically undo one the very last shape that you did so that's handy to have. So now that I've got this triangle script in memory, you could either copy that and put it in a notepad program or something just for safekeeping, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch over to this demo folder. Inside demo is demo scene image, and this is a simple kind of mini game that I've made where you can draw shapes, hit space bar, and if you get a match, then it plays a nice sound and does a particle system. So right now we've got triangle here, but there's no match because I haven't put the triangles in yet. I believe you can do circles and the letter X and we want to be able to draw triangles in here so on the main camera there is a fingers image helper script and that is basically kind of a giant wrapper to help you easily use these images you can see I've set 10 gesture images on this gesture property well let's 
make it 11. So now it cloned the letter U, and I want to call this triangle because that's what I just did. I'm going to take my triangles and paste them right in there. You can see the score padding here. The higher you make the score padding, the easier it is to match your triangle. So I've set it to about 5%, so this is kind of a fudge factor to, to let you match. You can tweak that if you find yourself getting too many matches or that it's too hard to get matches. But about 0.05 is probably fairly reasonable. Let's go ahead and run this and see if I can get some triangles now. And voila, now we can get triangles. So what you would want to do is once you've put your, your triangle or whatever shape in there, you could flip back to this automation scene and you could start your next image so let's do one more let's think of an image that we would want to do and I think I would want to do like the letter L so so anytime a player draws the letter L I want to match so let's start drawing some L's no match there we're already getting matches so you can kinda of say the letter L is a pretty easy one to match. It's a, basically a right angle, so maybe you want to do a really long shape, or a, I mean, it's pretty easy to match. You may only need one. Wow, yeah, I think you probably only need one letter L, is what, what it looks like here, and that may be the case for some of your shapes if they're simple enough. So let's flip back over to this demo scene image here and go back you'll see that my triangle is still there but now I want a letter L so we'll call this one letter L paste in the new letter L image and let's see if we can match some letter L's and there we go we matched the letter L so in a matter of you know, a minute or two we've done triangle and letter L so if you have more shapes for your game you can just get all the variants done in that image automation scene once you're happy that all your variants are satisfied and that they're matching every possible variant you can come over here and add them to this list and you basically spend a few hours doing that depending on how many shapes you have and suddenly you have a large chunk of your game already written for matching shapes so I think this workflow will be much much easier for you all uh, I've found that I can I can make usually make a a shape in a minute or two uh, and so if you have 20 or 30 shapes for your game it shouldn't take you very long using this new workflow to get them integrated and performance should be splendid I have spent uh, many many days tuning this so uh, as always give me feedback though send me an email to support at digitalruby.com or post on the unity forms for fingers gestures I'd be happy to answer any questions or take your feedback Thanks so much for watching. Have a very wonderful day.